Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all it is surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Definitely before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Difference Well and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? And speaking of coming and learning, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, excuse me, that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, third time or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? So you guys, today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, you guys. We're almost through the month of May. Wow, can you believe it's going by super duper fast? And I've been trying to pop out all these uh, content videos for you guys, but sometimes it just don't work out that way. But today we have something for you guys. You know, on Tuesday we do our social awareness uh, vlogs, and so this one is going to be in uh, dedication for month, excuse me, the May being the month of mental health awareness month. And so in uh, uh, subject of that, we're going to be talking about maternal mental health awareness in the month of May. Um, a lot of women that you know go through pregnancy, they often deal with depression during their pregnancy and more so afterward. That's why they call it postpartum depression. And so we're going to be touching a little bit on that topic and, and, and exploring more and bringing social awareness to that topic. And so uh, getting right into it, you guys, uh, doing some research, I found that um, the high, most high risk uh, women that are, are at high risk for depression during pregnancy or postpartum depression are these type of women, women that are already gone through depression or have any type of mental stress or illness issues they've dealt with before their pregnancy, uh, women of color, uh, of a minority category, if you will, uh, you know, black, Hispanic, you know, uh, not necessarily, I'm not saying not white people don't, women don't have depression as well, but women of color are more higher risk to uh, uh, get postpartum depression, uh, as well as women that are in uh, below the poverty line. Now, that's white women included as well. Um, is for uh, women that just have lack of resources or not able to have the resources that they should have while during their pregnancy and afterwards. And so uh, those are the top women that are at risk for, you know, getting postpartum depression or having depression during their pregnancy. Um, I found that, you know, doing my research as well, um, the good thing about depression or postpartum depression is that it is treatable uh, and it's manageable and so it can, and over, over time it can't go away. And so that's, um, even though postpartum depression, it, it ties into, you know, when women get pregnant, they often feel, you know, symptoms, signs of, you know, withdrawal, overwhelmness, sadness, or feeling like they're not enough or not good enough parent. And so, uh, without further ado, me trying to explain it to you guys, check out this dope informative video I found from Dr. Uh, Barrer. Uh, she's with the 2020moms.org. They talk about, you know, issues such as postpartum depression. So, uh, without me trying to doctor on you guys, take a look at what the actual doctor has to say about postpartum depression. And once we come back on, we'll talk a little bit more about different world and what's going on with it. Yeah, here it is. Check it out. Hi, I'm Dr. Lynn Barrera, clinical psychologist and 2020 Mom board member. At 2020 Mom, our mission is to close gaps in maternal mental health care through education, collaboration, and advocacy. Today, I'll be presenting what all stakeholders need to know about maternal mental health. Maternal mental health disorders include a range of disorders which can occur during pregnancy and or the postpartum period. The causes are biological, psychological, and can be triggered by social stressors. Maternal anxiety and depression are the most common complications of childbirth, impacting up to one in five women, yet they are not universally screened for and therefore not treated. When left untreated, these disorders can cause devastating consequences, not just to the mother and her baby, but also to her family and society. The cost of untreated maternal mental health disorders is estimated at $14.2 billion annually. The good news is that the risk for both depression and anxiety can be mitigated as both are preventable and treatable. Women who engage in treatment can and do recover. I'm gonna be covering a range of disorders and symptoms that are common 
uh, presentate, commonly present during the maternal period. So baby blues is uh, probably the most common presentation that one might see. It impacts up to 80% of new mothers uh, during the uh, immediate postpartum period. Women who experience the baby blues may feel sad, have mood swings, crying episodes, feelings of um, just being extremely overwhelmed. This is not a disorder, it, instead it's a cluster of symptoms, and if these symptoms do not resolve after a few days, then the mother is likely experiencing uh, depression. Dysthymia, or persistent depressive disorder, is defined as a low mood occurring for at least two years along with other symptoms of depression. Women with pre-existing dysthymia may be at a higher risk for severe depression during the perinatal period. Pregnancy and postpartum depression affects up to 20% of women. Symptoms can range from mild to severe, and mothers with pre-existing depression prior to or during pregnancy are more likely to experience postpartum depression. Symptoms generally include sadness, trouble concentrating, difficulty finding joy in activities once enjoyed, and difficulty bonding with the baby. New onset is nearly as common during pregnancy as in the postpartum and is the leading cause of preterm birth. Pregnancy and postpartum general anxiety affects up to 15% of women. Anxiety, like depression, is treatable during pregnancy and the postpartum. Symptoms often include restlessness, racing heartbeat, inability to sleep, and extreme worry about the what-ifs. Typically, these extreme worry thoughts are about being a good parent or being able to provide for the family. Postpartum psychosis is rare and occurs in approximately one to two out of every 1,000 deliveries. The onset is usually sudden, usually within the first two weeks postpartum. The most significant risk factor for postpartum psychosis is a personal or family history of bipolar disorder or previous psychotic episode. Postpartum psychosis is considered a medical emergency due to the potential for harm to the mother and to her baby. Intrusive thoughts uh, occurs in approximately 70 to 100% of women and their partners, um, and they typically surround childbirth and the postpartum period. Intrusive thoughts are not considered a disorder. When symptoms become persistent and are disabling, they are generally thought to be tied to OCD. OCD refers to obsessive compulsive disorder, and the, pre the prevalence of maternal OCD is between three to 5%. It includes obsessions or unwanted thoughts, that a person has an urge to relieve through an action or a compulsion. OCD obsessions can include intrusive thoughts. About 50% of women with OCD have intrusive thoughts about intentionally harming their infant, which is a very scary thought. It is important to note that these are unwanted thoughts and that they do not represent a psychotic process. Unwanted thoughts do not put a woman at higher risk of harming their infant or their other children. Mania is characterized by a prolonged period of elevated or irritable mood. Women may suffer from an extreme inability or need to sleep. Along with other symptoms, this is considered a state of hypomania or mania, which may or may not be tied to an underlying bipolar disorder. A state of mania or hypomania is not in of itself dangerous, but because mania is often paired with or characteristic of also not sleeping, this may lead to impulsive and high-risk behaviors, which can be a precursor for psychosis. Birth-related post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, occurs approximately 3% of the time. Most often, this illness is caused by a real or a perceived trauma during delivery or the immediate postpartum period. Often, these women are plagued with intrusive memories and flashbacks of the event. Birth loss or grief occurs uh, typically when an expectant mother experiences a miscarriage or a stillbirth. Include, uh, and they often go on to experience um, you know, postpartum uh, mental health disorders such as PTSD, in addition to grief or complicated loss. In the US, 10 to 15% of known pregnancies end in miscarriage and 1% of all pregnancies end in stillbirth. And when we look at the demographic characteristics of the women, we often find that women from diverse ethnic and racial backgrounds experience this loss at a higher rate. There are many uh, support uh, outlets in the community that can be resources to women who may be experiencing maternal mental health disorders or symptoms. 
Postpartum Support International um, is an excellent resource in the community. They have a warm line, which can be accessed in English or in Spanish. They also have a text, uh, text line, again, also in English and in Spanish. Um, here, volunteers offer encouragement, information, and treatment resources in your community. Postpartum Support International is not a crisis hotline and does not handle emergencies. In the event of an emergency or a high-risk suicide, suicidal behaviors, it's best to contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, which is a 24-hour uh, line that includes trained counselors who can advise and provide support to women and others who may be at high risk for suicidal behaviors. They also include a chat feature on their website. Thank you for joining us for this brief snapshot into maternal mental health. At 2020 Mom, we're hoping to change the game and we appreciate your time. Right, so welcome back. Uh, as you guys see, I hope you enjoyed watching and listening on uh, that informative video about postpartum depression and how it starts and the symptoms. I never knew about baby blues. I never heard of that before. And so I learned some things watching this video as well, as well as, you know, I encourage any women out there that are going through postpartum depression or having anxieties, you know, dealing with their pregnancy. I encourage you all to do your own homework and research and find what works best for you when it comes to keeping your mental health in check when it comes to your pregnancy, as well as uh, just taking care of yourself overall. And so again, do your homework, talk with somebody, talk with your doctor especially and see what it is that they can be done when it comes to you know keeping your mental health in check during your pregnancy, as well as after your pregnancy. That's also more so where that postpartum sets in after the pregnancy. Um, then you feel the overwhelm is coming upon you. And I've never had kids before, and I hope and pray that um, if I do have kids that I don't have to, you know, I don't deal with postpartum depression. But being honest and really looking at the facts, I am at high risk for dealing with postpartum depression, although I'm not speaking that over my life. Uh, it's just the factors of it, you know, I've dealt with, you know, mental uh, anguish in the past, you know, I've had depression. Um, and so, and I have a lot of anxieties, and so I, I could be on the um, scale for that, and so I have to watch out for that. And so, again, I encourage you all out there, men included, to support your uh, the women that bring your children into this world. You know, support them, be there for them, you know, mentally, physically, and emotionally, whatever they need, give it to them, because it's your fault <laughs> they're in this position. <laughs> and so, uh, with that being said, if you guys like the topic that I'm bringing and talking about in regards to maternal mental health awareness, definitely show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming. Also, you guys, don't forget, you can go to my website, check out all my other social media handles, my Instagram, my Twitter, etc., etc., as well as anybody out there that's looking for any type of motivational speakers, would like for me to be a part of any grassroots conversations, looking to do collaborations with your podcast interviews, uh, definitely hit up your girl on my website. You can book me. I'm free of charge as of now. You just go to my website and you fill out the form. Also, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available on my website. Again, that's differenceworld.net. And this book is uh, written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations, you guys. So again, please be advised that this is intended for a mature audience because it has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Just get you a little fire blanket. You'll be okay. That's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that need to be had that are often swept under the rug or people like to turn a blind eye to. This book is that 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 what pushes the envelope that, that, that'll get you to talking about it. And again, I've chosen the controversial route is because of the controversy. I've seen people flock to it. They like that more. I don't know why, but it's something about controversy that gets, gets everybody attention. And so one, now that I have gotten your attention, listen up to what I really have to say. It's not just about pissing off white people or trying to incite, you know, race war. It's more than that. It's about unity, coming together and having that talk that need to be had, talking about accountability, acknowledgement, coming up with ways that we can create systemic change instead of systemic racism. So again, get my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, available on my website, you guys. Again, I appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please leave me your reviews, uh, shout outs, 
I appreciate it, you guys. Please keep it coming and don't stop. I, I definitely, I, I, I just I can't express it that so much. I'm so grateful for it, you guys. I can go on and on. But all I'm going to say is with this, just go to my website and get your book or a copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, you guys. And moving right on, what else we got going on in the Difference World Gravy Train, you guys? Tomorrow is Wednesday, so you guys know on Wednesday we do our podcast interviews, and so I might be dropping one, maybe, maybe not, but that's, again, why you got to hit that notification bell, so when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World, and you come and learn about it, yeah? So again, hit that notification bell and that subscribe button for your girl, okay? Uh, what else we got, you guys? Lastly, but most important, well, it's not lastly, but this is one of the most important topics that we talk about here in Difference World YouTube channel is our mental health check for those out there that may need it, including myself, that may be going through any type of mental anguish, including, you know, depression, uh, feeling suicidal, having anxiety attacks. It's also a means for postpartum depression as well. Uh, those that, you know, dealing with bullying, um, uh, it, whatever the case may be, you know, going through relapse, whatever the case that may be causing you any type of mental anguish or stress, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean to you, talking with a family member, a therapist, a friend, picking up a hobby, you know, cutting people off, mending broken bridges, whatever you have to do to keep your mental health in check and not go off the deep end and possibly take anybody with you, do it. If you need or if you know anybody that may need these mental health resources that I'm about to give to you guys, please feel, feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741 741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, shout out to you guys as well. Be sure to check out incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And again, remember you guys, although I am giving you guys these mental health resources, it is on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Nobody else. Also, lastly, with mental health check, I want you guys to remember whatever it is in life that you are going, you're going through, whatever trial and tribulation it may be at this time of your life, please know and understand that you will get to, through it because this too shall pass. So going off the deep end is not an option and it's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay. And so uh, moving on to that, you guys, and bringing it back to some positive, uplifting energy before we get out of here, you guys. Um, again, I hope you enjoy watching my vlog and dedication of um, maternal mental health wellness uh, a week, or excuse me, a, a month, if you will. Again, any ladies out there that may be going through or experiencing any type of depression while you're pregnant or afterwards, please, again, uh, I encourage you all and implore you all to do your own homework and research and find what works best for you when it comes to finding remedies to help keep your mental health in check. Uh, as well as you guys, again, don't forget, be sure if you like the vlog that I'm bringing today, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, again, I definitely appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for your girl. Lastly, you guys, don't forget, whatever it is in life that you are feeling you are destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift, 
I offer different. Go to differenceworld.net.